Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about general characters of Nigeria. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So Nigeria are also called Silenterata. Examples of Nigeria are Hydra, Obelia, Aurelia, etc. Habitat. So they are aquatic animal. They are mostly marine. Some of them are freshwater species. Example is Hydra. So Hydra is the exceptional case. It is found in freshwater. Otherwise, mostly they are marine. Body organization. So they are multicellular animals and they have tissue grade of organization. So number of cells are present in their body which are organized in different tissues. Body is radially or biradially symmetrical. So what is radially or biradially symmetrical? I will make a separate video for that. Blind sac body plan. So it means the body contains a single pore which serves 12 function of mouth and anus. So this type of body plan is called as blind sac body plan where only a single pore is present in the body and that single pore performs both the function of mouth and anus. They have a central gastrovascular cavity. It is the cavity that is present in their body. So in this picture you can see this is the gastrovascular cavity. This is a big cavity present in the central part of their body. They are diploblastic animals. Diploblastic means cells are arranged in two layers. Outer ectoderm and inner endoderm. So two layers are present. Mesoderm or middle layer is absent. Therefore they are diploblastic animal. But they have the intermediate mesoglia. So intermediate mesoglia is present between ectoderm and endoderm. And this is the non-cellular gelatinous layer. Because this does not contain any cells here. And it is the gelatinous layer. Tentacles encircle the mouth. So in this picture we can see this is the mouth. And they have number of tentacles around the mouth. Tentacles are made up of nematocysts. Nematocysts are there which are making the tentacles. So nematocysts are some specialized cells in the tentacle. So I will also make a separate video about nematocysts. Tentacles are used for food capture and its ingestion. These are used for defense and also used as adhesive organs. So these are different functions of tentacles. Locomotion. So they are either sessile, that means they are fixed. They are fixed, they can't move. Or sometimes some of them are free swimming. So they can swim freely. 
they are either solitary or colonial. Nutrition They are carnivorous. They feed on plankton to animals. So they also feed plankton and also animals. Digestion It is extracellular or intracellular because digestion takes place inside the cell as well as outside the cell. Therefore, digestion is extracellular and intracellular. Respiration It occurs by diffusion through general body surface. They do not have any proper respiratory system. Circulation or circulatory system is absent. Excretion They do not have any proper excretory system in their body. So excretion occurs by diffusion through general body surface. They are ammonotelic because the waste material is ammonia here. Reproduction They undergo both asexual and sexual reproduction. So, in this case, they undergo asexual reproduction by budding and sexual reproduction by gamete formation. Nervous system So, some nerve cells are present. Development is indirect because they include larvae in their life cycle. And when larvae is present in the life cycle, the development is called indirect. And here the larvae are free swimming. They can swim freely. The names of the larvae are here planula, Ephyra, etc. Polymorphism. So, different types or different forms are there. Like polyform, medusa form. So, polyform is the asexual form. They undergo asexual reproduction and they are sessile, they are fixed, they can't move. Medusa is the sexual form, they undergo sexual reproduction. And they are free swimming, they can swim freely. Life history exhibits alteration of generation. That means asexual form alternates with sexual form. And vice versa, that means sexual form alternates with asexual form. This is all about today's lecture.